Hi, my name is Kate Condon, and this is day six of my Tosca work experience. Um, so tonight was the second dress rehearsal at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre, and I have to say, every time I see it, it keeps getting better and better. I have yet to see Act 3, and since tomorrow, unfortunately, is our final day, I will see it in rehearsal, and I am extremely excited. But we did a lot of cool stuff today, so I'm just going to get started. So today... As like yesterday, it was only one of the um, the double cast, so it was Tamara and Adam today, and it was really cool seeing Tamara on stage because we had talked to her yesterday, so we kind of knew more about what was going on in her head when she was performing, and both Tamara and Adam, as Dave and Michelle, do a great job, and it's really great to know the performers on a personal level and kind of what their lives are like and how they get ready for roles and stuff like that. Um, the orchestra was also continuing continuing to excel and it's amazing. Um, the director kept yelling out pointers and being like, this part is being too messy. And I would just hear it and be like, this is incredible music. So it, it really shows how high caliber music they are doing at the opera and how, especially with musicians, they won't settle for anything less than 100%, which I think is something really to strive for and it's really great thing in life, not to just say 80%, because if they only played 80% of their notes right, or their dynamics, or their scene, or their entrances or exits, it wouldn't sound very good. So the fact that they are striving for that perfection every time, I think is really admirable. Um, the sets and the costumes are a little bit more finished today, um, which is good because obviously tomorrow is when the more general public comes in and all the school groups, even though it is just a dress rehearsal. Um, the lighting was more advanced today. They have more of the spots, and obviously um, they had been working on that. Um, one of the girls actually in work experience did the light walking today, so I think she helped out. Um, fortunately, I wasn't able to do that because school. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do that next time, um, or if I ever do it again, because I think that would be a process that would really be cool to do. Um, something that was really cool today is that we talked to Dan, who is the technical director, and it was very, very nice of him to meet with us because he was on his dinner break and he did not have to do that, and it was really interesting to talk to him. He basically told us about his story up to this point, how he got involved. He said his background was a bit different to get into technical director because he was an actor before, and I thought that was kind of interesting because the more I talk to people in this industry, the more I realize that no one has a clear-cut path to the job that they have now. There's no manual to say, how do I become a stage director? Everyone thinks of what's right for them and what's in what they are interested in, and somehow they just found their way here. And I think that's really comforting, because I think that if I work hard, and if I do something that I love, and I'm not focused on money, I just, I just do what I need to do and what I enjoy, I'll find a cool job that I really, I really enjoy doing, which I'm hopeful about, and it's, it's nerve-wracking definitely moving forward and thinking about this experience more as a, I could be doing this job one day, um, because it's something that I'm really passionate about, and the more I get to know kind of the different jobs, the more I definitely want to be involved in this industry, and I really can't imagine doing anything else, um, which is really, really cool. Something that was really, really cool, though, about talking to Dan is I kind of slept, uh, slipped it into conversation. I was like, so how, um, how high is the stage rake? That's the thing, how it's, like, kind of propped up on stage. And he's like, oh, do you want to go on stage and check it out? And we're like, yes. So he took us on stage, and he showed us all the behind-the-stage stuff. And I have to say, there's definitely so much magic when you're standing on the stage, looking out into the house, and you had the tears of the seats, and all the lights are shining, it's, it's incredible, and I don't want to go into acting, even though I have a background in acting and music, but there's something undeniable, um, about standing on that stage, you just feel powerful, so that was a really cool experience, so thank you for Dan for taking us on that. Um, we saw the drop that Tosca takes, which is crazy, and the mat, which is like, very, very high. She is very well protected, which is awesome. Um, we saw the stage rake, which was cool to walk on. Um, one thing he was telling us about, though, that I was kind of like, oh, that's too bad, um, and something that um, Tamara had mentioned, is opera singers have really bad backs and really bad knees because the stage is on such an angle that they're working really hard to kind of like compensate, and especially the women are wearing um, heels and heavy dresses. So she, Tamara said that she's only 30 and she's already had major um, 
issues like that, which is really too bad, so it shows another drawback of the industry, which is interesting to get all perspectives. But it was still really cool to see the stage. Um, he also said that this theater is kind of weird in the sense that it's extremely wide across. Um, so the set has definitely kind of had to compensate in different areas, and they've used the curtain a lot to close it off because the sheer magnitude of the stage just isn't reasonable. And also, because the seats go out so far on either side, the person that's sitting on the very side seat would be able to see all of the cables and things for backstage, which obviously wouldn't work. Another thing that Dan told us about that was really, really cool is he got us kind of looking up into the ceiling. He told us, um, firstly, about the curtain, which I thought was so cool. It's this big, gorgeous um, stage curtain. I think it's 80 feet wide by 30 feet tall. Um, and instead of rolling up or going to the side, it just goes up. And there's enough room in the very top of the theater to actually allow the, the the curtain to just move up. So there's at least 30 feet up there above the stage, which I think is phenomenal that you can't see. So it really shows that there's so much going on that you don't know. Um, another thing he mentioned was there are these rails with 900 pounds of lighting on them and to make sure that they don't come crashing down, um, each of the technicians have to hang a, like a weighted bag so when they're lifting these up and down to work with them, they don't need like 12 men to lift this 900 pound bar. It's equal and it's very weighted. So it's interesting how different things like math and sciences come into theater more than I originally realized, um, which is always good to know which classes I should kind of be paying attention in more um, and see like, hey, this does relate to theater because I always kind of struggle with that um, as opposed to English and socials where I can sometimes find the connections more easily. So as I was sitting here in the theater tonight, it was kind of a surreal um, experience. I was sitting between Danny, who I've known for a few, uh, for two years or so, um, who works at the Opera now, and my friend Sarah, who I also knew prior. Um, and I was just sitting there and kind of reflecting back on this experience. This is going to be the last time where we are seeing Tosca before the entire audience is. And I think it was just an extremely big experience for me growing-wise. I... I know how general theater works, but by the end, I'm now able to realize where certain areas of the opera are, or I can understand the Italian because I've seen it so many times. And I think the experience that Vancouver Opera is giving us, and I'll go into more detail tomorrow as my final video, is just a really, really important one because I believe in fostering the arts in kids. Um, and giving us opportunities because, frankly, I was kind of scared while considering my options of going into the arts. It's a scary thing. When you're younger, those are always the dream jobs. People are always like, I want to be an actor, I want to be a singer. And society kind of tells you, like, no, only the really talented people will make it that far. Only the people that are extremely special. And I think that's true. But I think there's also a lot of room for the arts for people who work really hard and want it and that are not necessarily wanting to be on stage. And that just brings me a lot of hope because I don't want to be on stage, but I want to be collaborating with other people working towards one common goal. And that has been an overlying theme for this entire two weeks. Um, so the fact that I was able to see that up close and talk to so many amazing people who were really excited that you were there and really excited to talk to you was an amazing experience. And I, it's really weird. I feel a part of Tosca and I feel almost a part of the experience which is silly because I had absolutely nothing to do with it but because we sat and watched for two weeks I, I definitely feel like it's a part of me and I'll definitely have a fond spot for this opera after this experience. Um, so it was just very interesting seeing, really thinking about the first rehearsal when it was just the staging, knowing absolutely nothing about opera really, not knowing anything about Tosca, not knowing the other people, and I was saying to the other work experience girls, I had only met them six times before and I feel really close to them and all of the people that we met on this experience because it really is a family environment and you, you feel so welcome and you're able to be yourself if that's ridiculously nerdy and over the top and really excited about little details. So it just, it was a really cool experience and I'm, I'm actually really sad that it's coming to an end as stressful as it's been. Um, 
so I am going to probably finish up now, but I'm going to be making a large um, overview video tomorrow, also my final thoughts on the um, production, but again, thank you, thank you, thank you to Vancouver Opera. I have never stopped saying it, and I don't think I, I ever will. This has really opened my eyes more than I ever thought it could at the beginning of this experience, and I am extremely excited to see all the hard work and final product tomorrow. Thanks.